Hey guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 4 of season 2 of the Quintessential Quintuplets. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. BTW, sorry, this is late. Oh, but it's <laughs> what's up? Mm, she's already leaving. Yeah, plus tea is better when it's have sugar in it, just saying. Mm. Okay, Miku. I'm just talking. You don't want to know. <laughs> I thought you would be a little more expressive, Miku. <laughs> yeah, but... Nothing else. Hmm? Oh, well, he talked about her hair. Do you want to cut your hair? She's right. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> hey, at least it maybe isn't too too sweet like what Starbucks drinks even though I haven't had like a crazy Starbucks drink before yet The dynamic.
Yeah, but mm, that's... <laughs> I know, so... But Yeltsaba... Damn. Wait.
Same thing. Ah, Yotsuba, your cockle was showing a lot. <laughs> so pretty, I can't. <laughs> oh my god. Huh. <laughs> Nah, don't be. You'll do fine. It's okay. You guys can still try again. Hmm? <laughs> What's up? Is Futaro sick? Why? So that's why. Oh, you go. He's not going to answer. That's fucked up. We can't leave.
Should be fine. Shut up and come on. But... That's right.
そっちよハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
they not only uh, in a way love but in love like in a respectful way and care for him and not tolerate but like him and what he does even though maybe sometimes it's not always the best it still works they're still trying their hardest and I still would have stayed in the damn really nice house, but house, I'm just saying. But, I mean, the thing was, if he didn't get it, of course, he wasn't able to come there. So I get the fact that those five, you know, band together and said, we're going to move out, and this is our only way to help us. And honestly, I'm glad that they did it. It's going to be a really interesting <laughs> switch from you know going from this to this but it happens every single day with people especially when they're moving and I think it, it's gonna be really good for them I think now that they're not in their like lavish lifestyle and they're almost like everyone else living into like a, a small or apartment I think um it'll motivate them a little bit more to do better um, not only for grades, but if they all get jobs, well, because you yeah, yeah, freaking Ichiga. Ichiga's the only one who technically has, who already has a job, but really for the other four and what they want to do for the rest of their lives and ish like that. And eventually either live in an apartment, live in a penthouse, which is my dream, or a really nice house or just something, you know, where it's like, oh my God, this is my freaking sanctuary of like yes like zen ish i don't know i mean it, it depends on them do what you gotta do to get where you want to be <laughs> but yeah I, I hate the fact that you know he he lost the one thing that you know renegade to one of the quintuples got them so we won't know what that said because now it's gone or you know secretly something's gonna tell me by like the last episode it's gonna mysteriously come up and then he's gonna open it and then we're gonna find out who which one of these quintuplets was with Futaro when he was a kid? Maybe. I don't know. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to this episode 4 of season 2 with the quintessential quintuplets. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for episode 5. Bye, guys.